Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. Sorry for the uh, banner down here. I signed up for this website and it just keeps, it will not let me confirm my email. But I think this story is incredibly important. I'm getting it out as soon as possible. And um, first I want to explain, um, this isn't n normally what we talk about, but the e Economic Ninja channel is all about warning people about um, different aspects of the economy, different economic cycles, trying to encourage people that there's always a light at the end of the tunnel, no matter how bad things get, there's always an opportunity, right? But I also like to talk about economic uh, issues, economics, period, and try and teach people about um, you know what causes inflation, what causes deflation, things like that. Well, now we're gonna see, and I think this is incredibly important, it's gonna affect us all, and um, at the end of this video, we're going to be able to show you where not to buy these uh, chickens. But um, this is an effect of when um, companies uh, start facing supply shortages and high costs of goods, and they're trying to compete, okay? And this is, I think, quite frankly scary. I'm going to link this. This is from the Epic Times. I'm going to link this story below in the description. I Please share this with other people. Okay, white striping disease found in more than 90% of U.S. store brand chickens. All right, it says 90% of uh, uh, chickens have the muscle disease known as white striping, according to a findings released on Monday by the Human League. So this just came out. The story is out on the 22nd. This is the day I'm releasing this. White striping disease is a muscle myopathy uh, that occurs when chickens are bred for rapid growth. Uh, stripes appear on the chickens when they are unable to keep up with unnaturally fast muscle growth. Now this might look at as like a uh, free animals story and stuff like that, but this is going to affect us. So we're going to go into that a little bit, okay? It says, as a result, the chickens replace muscle tissue with fibrous tissue and fat, which sub subsequently reduces the nutritional value of the meat by increasing the fat content by 224%. You know, I've been seeing this a lot lately where um, chicken in the stores has just a ton of fat connected to it. And it also gives a lower protein level by 9%. It says white striping reportedly impacts 50 to 96% of fast growing chickens. Now, it talks about uh, the Human League and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it says the investigation analyzed meat cases at major supermarkets across 29 states, including Walmart, Kroger, Costco, a bunch of them, right? It says researchers found that white striping disease was evident in 99% of chicken inventory, while some supermarkets had white striping in 100% of the packets it sampled. It says that all of the 19 of the 16 supermarkets analyzed had white striping presented in their uh, standard own brand chicken breast fillets. Okay, so that's you know. Um, Kirkland, uh, I don't want to just throw these out numbers out, but let's do this here. Like Walmart has their own special brand. BJ's has some and Miser. I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry. Um, but it says um, all of the 16 supermarkets analyzed had the white striping presented in their standard own brand uh, chicken breast fillets, while 70% of the chicken packages had moderate to severe white striping. They said the worst offenders were Walmart, BJ's, and Miser's. Meyer. Hopefully I got that right. With moderate to severe white striping presented in 93%, 87%, and 85% of the chickens, respectively. So it says here, I'm going to close on this. The fact that 99% of all store brand chickens sold at major supermarkets contain the white striping disease should raise alarm bells for consumers everywhere. So guys, I want to be very clear this is a really great news article that i want you to dig into deeper but it's because it shows you uh, this test that came out it shows you not only that there are white striping in all kinds of stores in this chicken right but this may be a, a good time to to change the type of proteins you eat because i have a feeling this is only going to get worse i guarantee you that this story is going to go very under um uh reported and uh, the facts are, these companies are doing everything they can to compete. And if that means adding more fat and less protein in their chicken, and, and there's all kinds of other issues that can, can come from this. I guarantee you, you know, there's going to be studies years down the road about this kind of stuff. But these are the things that I wanted to bring you guys early so that you can change your habits if you want to. You know, we all have our own issues in what we eat and what we drink and what we watch. I mean, we all do. I'm, I'm one of the worst, honestly. But I want to bring you the facts. And, and this is a guaranteed, this is a product of inflation and supply chain issues. We know this has been happening for years and years. 
but it's going to get worse and worse as these um, chicken manufacturers try to pump out as much food as they can at the cheapest prices they can because they know that if they have to raise their prices, less and less chickens will be sold, which means they have to scale down, lay off people, those kind of things. So I'm going to link this below. I thank you so much for spending time with me. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thanks for everyone that's hitting the likes, like button. If you haven't subscribed, if you don't mind clicking the button, that'd be great. I thank you. But one, one thing for sure, please share these videos. It's so important to get the news out. All right, guys, that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.